Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations. So we have x plus y plus z is equal to 0 and 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z is equal to 0. And we're looking for real solutions. And what makes this system interesting is that there are three variables but only two equations. And this is not a Diophantine system because we're not necessarily looking for integer or rational solutions. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the denominators first. Since we have 1 over x, 1 over y, and 1 over z, none of those numbers can be 0. So how do you express that? You can write x does not equal 0, y does not equal 0, so on and so forth. Or you can safely say that, well, if x, y, z are real numbers and the product x, y, z can never equal 0, which means none of them can be 0. Okay, under those conditions, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this system. Now, one, one thing we can do is make a common denominator in the first, uh, I mean the second equation, right? So let's go ahead and make a common denominator. As you know, you're going to get something like, look, uh, something that looked like, something that looks like this. Okay, xy plus xz plus yz divided by xyz, and that's going to equal zero. Now, this is a fraction, and we said that xyz as a product cannot equal zero, obviously then the numerator must be zero, right? Obviously, in order for this to be zero. So we can safely say that from here, xy plus xz plus yz is equal to zero. Great. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, I do have another equation, which is x plus y plus z, and we're going to try to put these two together, right? So what kind of equation we can use to relate these quantities? Well, you can just go ahead and take the x plus y plus z, and square it, right? Since x plus y plus z is equal to 0, when you square it, it's also going to be 0. So we can safely say that x plus y plus z quantity squared is also equal to 0. Great. What does this give us? Well, let's go ahead and expand it. So how do you expand x plus y plus z quantity squared? There's a formula. And remember, we used this in some other video. x squared plus y squared plus z squared, that's the first part, plus, now we have a 2 outside, and now we're going to have the two-way products, xy plus xz plus yz. And obviously, this is equal to 0. But this is kind of interesting, because notice that we got the xy, xz, yz inside the parentheses, and we do know from here that it's equal to 0. So what is that supposed to mean? Well, go ahead and replace that expression with 0, and what do you get? Well, you get another equation, obviously, which is kind of cool. x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 0 is equal to 0, which means that the sum of the squares is 0. Now, this is significant. Why? Because we said that x, y, and z are real solutions. I know some people are going to be upset and they're going, to like, they're going to be like, why aren't you solving for complex solutions? Okay, the point here is to manipulate this expression and look for real solutions. Maybe later on, in another equation, we can talk about complex solutions. Okay, so what is, what is that supposed to mean? If you are adding the squares of three real numbers and you're getting zero, there's no way these squares are going to be less than zero, right? But you only get zero if you add zeros or you add positives and negatives together so that they balance out, right? So in this case, none of these can be negative. They all have to be greater or equal to zero, which means that they each equal to zero or each of them equals zero, in other words. Okay, so how do you write that? Well, this just means that x has to equal zero, y has to equal zero, and z has to equal zero. Not only one of them, but all three have to equal zero at the same time, if you're looking for real solutions, of course. But guess what? We had a condition, right? We had some restrictions. We said that, well, x, y, z as a product can never equal zero, which means none of these numbers can be zero. But we arrive at, a, at the conclusion that they're all zero, but that's a contradiction, right? I mean, this solution here would be fine if we didn't have that restriction, but we do. So what is that supposed to mean? It means that we have no real solutions to this system because it's just not going to work. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.